through this, you want to ride through this other RV park on the um, hours or just turn it down? Turn in where like the light is so people will know if they want to go camping there. So this, we're heading from Gatlinburg into Pigeon Forge. Um, we've stayed at this River Ridge right here before. It's really, really nice too. Um, but this is uh, where you come into Pigeon Forge or if you're coming in from the other direction, River Ridge is like here by traffic light number 10, but we turn before traffic light number 10 down right a down road. It's right Mountain. there by the Smoky Mountain Pancake on Smoky's Kate's Lane um, by this hotel and Smoky's Pancake Cabin. That is a good place to eat, by the way. We've been eating there every morning we've been here. But our favorite is the Log Cabin Pancake Restaurant in Gallenberg. Y'all see the big old red barn up there? It used to be the... Dick Boyd. Clark owned it for a little while, but Boyd's he never Bear. did anything with it. But it was Boyd's Bear, and it was amazing. How many stories was that thing? Three or four? Three, three or four stories. Four stories, I want to think. Boyd's and Jesse went Boyd's and made Bear. her a little uh, teddy bear there one day. They had it like now a cabbage now patch thing. made a Margaritaville Yes, campground. it's going to be a margar Margaritaville campground up there. They're still working on the building, but the campground's open now, and it's really nice. They just don't have trees right now. We're waiting for trees. We spent many vacations at the Creekstone Creek Inn. Inn. So many, so many vacations. This is Camp Rivers This Landing. is where we stay, Camp Rivers Landing. We absolutely love this campground. But it's beautiful. It's got lots of fun stuff for the kids to do, as you can see. They're enjoying their little bouncy thing there. But this is one of our favorite campgrounds. I wish y'all had smell o vision because you can smell the campfires and the cooking out. It's, so amazing. You want to but, drive around? Or? Yeah, you can do a drive around. Then we'll come back to the camper. Uh oh, we got a backer. We might be here a while. <laughs> it's fun to watch people back in, y'all. Especially when you have a couple that's not used to doing it and they start arguing. It's they, I've, you've that's heard some That's a big old long there. That's Most a big old camper. This guy probably knows what he's doing. I'd hate to be the one camp backing it in, though. He's going to be the neighbor across from us. Yeah, this is our um, open range over here. This is our open range. He's doing good. He's doing good. <coughs> Turn that air down. Maybe it's making me cough. Turn it off. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Good. That guy must have got his thing out before he put his camper up. RC for somewhere else, I guess. He's pretty, he's pretty good at backing. Does he even have anybody directing him? That's a nice camper. That's pretty. I like that shiny sticker it's got on it. I wonder if it would fade over time. Look at his dog. Yeah. Oh no, he does have somebody back in him. Yeah. Me and Jeff bought handy dandy, what are they called? Two way radios. Two way radios. Which we absolutely Work love. Great. Yes, because you don't have to walk up like this guy just did. You can just kind of talk across to him and say, do this, do this, do this. <coughs> We love our two-way radios. This guy's good though. He he got it in pretty quick, considering. They just go ahead and bounce around him now. We got room. Yeah. He's good. He's getting over that campfire though. He may not realize it. You might want to tell him. Or don't. Anyways, that's our camper there. that movie it is a must watch it is hilarious for anybody that camps i love that movie oh look at those cute little girls <laughs> so pretty look at this person's got an american flag lit up that's pretty cool used to back when we first started camping every one of these campers would have had lights all over them and american flags and people just aren't as into it are they 
I think it's because so many people are camping now that weren't before. I know, we're one of those people. Mm. I'm disappointed. I wish we would have put them up. I like that lot. So, this place that we camp at used to be an old dairy farm, I believe. Here's the meat, the, what do you call that? A silo? A silo, an old barn. But this is the old barn, and, you know, they've just... This used to be the laundromat. They've taken the laundromat out of here and turned this into an actual place for a huge family actually, to stay in. This actually used to be called the milk house. Yeah, it was the milk house, but then they turned it into a game room, and then after that, they did the, um, now it's a place for people to stay. That's the camp office. And if you get a spot by this river, y'all, it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, they got their fire going tonight. That river down there, these river spots, spots are still gravel but they have concrete pads in the middle and on the side that we're staying in they'll probably eventually concrete yeah, these maybe eventually. but this is the uh, bathhouse it's really nice it has where you go in how many how many bathrooms does it have? Uh, I thought they said 10 the washer and dryers in there and the bathhouses and there's the pool it's got like a little splash pad for kids but um, you think it has 10 bathrooms I thought that's what the but anyways the uh, bathrooms are neat because it has the toilet in there and the shower and they're big walk-in tiled ones and they're nice because um you know if you have little kids you can take them in there and uh everybody kind of be in there together if you have tiny kids and you don't want them sharing separate from you there's plenty of room enough room for everybody to be in that bathroom at once but anyways this is our campground um again it's called uh, rivers camp rivers, camp rivers landing but these are the last spots on this side. Those are for tinier campers. You can't really get any big long ones in that area. But you can see some of these campers that go in the distance. But it's a beautiful campground. Like I said, we absolutely love staying here. We've been coming here for another year and a half, maybe. So, how about 